Okay, so I've had this Gravely for a couple of years, actually more like four or so. It has 87 hours on it. And what I recommend is to repack the bearings either at the end of season one or even when it's brand new and you just got it off the truck. Seriously. Uh, I was really surprised the bearings were okay. One was a little rough, but it cleaned up and became smooth, so it was just some dirt or sand or something in there. But anyway, I highly recommend doing this as soon as possible. So, I have already done this, and I'm actually going to take it apart again and show you what I did. First thing, I'm just going to jack it up a little bit. Got the cutout on my jack all lined up so it goes in the deck. And off we go. Jacking it up. Just need to go a little bit. No, don't have to go too high. Okay, there are two bearings here. One here, one here. Not going to worry about them right now. They were fine, so I'm not going to talk about them. We're going to do the wheel bearings down here. So, first thing, there is nothing in the maintenance section of your manual to tell you to re-grease them. Nothing. Anywhere. Without re-greasing the bearings. Anywhere. Next, uh, in the parts manual, uh, these models cover, you know, different size decks. But you can see mine's right there in the middle. So it's not brand new, but it's not old either. So we go to the front caster wheels. And at first I thought, oh no, it doesn't show the bearing. I mean, because there's the bearing right in there. Just shows the end caps here. But then it says, here's your bearing. 0543570. So at first I thought, oh man, you got to buy the whole tire. But no, they do show the bearing. And then the, the two in the top, they're calling number four. They're saying there's four of them. 0540072. So, and they're different in that the wheel bearings have a groove cut in them for a ring that prevents it from being slid in too far. So, let's get that wheel off first of all. Uh, now, the only tool I really needed as far as a sized tool was a 19 millimeter. So, that's a carriage bolt, so you don't have to worry about holding it. Just, uh, Zap this guy off. I tried a wrench, but it was really, really tough, so I ended up getting my uh, impact. And off it came. Get the uh, carriage bolt out, and off comes the wheel. Now, I like, when I put it back on, I like to have it so that the uh, air valve so that the valve stem is on the outside when it's rolling forward. Next are these end caps here. They come off. There are two of these. You can see my fresh grease on there. Alright, we'll get the other one off and show you what we're up against. All right, you're gonna need some space for the bearing to come out, so I just put a couple pieces of two by four out there. And I'll show you what we're up against here. You can see there's the wheel bearing. Let me clean off the grease and the dirt. And what you will see is there's a split ring on there. Can you see that split ring? Here's the opening right there. Now you do not need to remove that. So what you're going to do is there is a piece of tubing in there, which I'll show you. And that will move a little bit. By a little bit, I do mean a little bit. But what you can do is you can expose the back end of the bearing 
just a fraction, just a slight bit in a way where you can drive it out. Now to drive it out I used an unconventional tool. What I noticed with my long extension was this is all rounded so it really couldn't get on that edge of the bearing very well. I mean it did work but you know I ended up going to another tool which I'll show you. You can also use a punch but again it needs to be sharp it can't be rounded or beat up or anything because there's a very 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 small space for it to engage the bearing and push it out so what I ended up using was a file <laughs> the edges here are extremely sharp and they get on the bearing very well and I just hit the end and boom it popped right out I'll show you alright we just kind of went down here until I I felt, feel it engage. So I have it touching. It's engaged on the back of the bearing. I get to do this left-handed. <laughs> now let me switch hands and block the camera here. So there it is, and I just whacked it. And out it came. Of course, it wasn't that easy. I had to do one side, then the other. You can see it working its way out. So just a little back and forth and it'll come out. Almost. And out it comes. So let me show you what I'm up against. Now, let me just put this aside here. Stay. So here's here's the collar you're up against. So you're having to here's the collar you're up against. So you're having to wiggle this out of the way to allow you to impact the ball bearing right in here. Now, I took this ring off and wire brushed the inside and then re-greased it uh, because I saw some rust in there. So you can do that if you want to. Uh, this is nothing to it, just uh, for the axle. Alright. And of course you know about sealed bearings. So I have a variety of tools I can use. I have this flat pick. That's what I like to use. That way you don't damage it. Or you can use a pointed pick. Dig out the seal. <laughs> like I said, I like to use the flat one. Dig out the seal. Then you can get on camera, repack it, and put your seal back in, and reassemble it. Put your shaft back in. And put your bearing back in. All right, I put on my clean gloves. So I don't get grease everywhere. And then you can just uh, drive it home with whatever you want. A piece of wood, a socket. And get your wood and drive it back on. 
goes on pretty easy. All right, be sure and get it flush all the way on there. That's what that is. It's a stop. And you're ready for reassembly. And like I said, I like the valve on the outside when I reassemble it. So we'll put our spacers back in. Get our carriage bolt ready. This is always fun. Lined up on the end here. I don't know why I always struggle with that. There we go. Nut back on. I'm all greased up. Hang on. And we are good to go. All right. Greasing the wheel bearings on a zero turn. Again, I highly recommend that you do that sooner rather than later. Thank you for watching.